Fede Fede, welcome guys to my YouTube channel. Um, guys, today I'm not gaming. Um, I still uh, I have recorded a couple of videos for my YouTube channel, and I just wanted to like introduce myself to you guys and tell you guys about myself and you know a get to know me kind of like video thing yeah you get the idea you get the idea i don't have to explain further so without further ado let's just get to the first question who am i exactly um my name is neo offensive silo i am 21 years old um, I was born in 2001, 15 August. And where am I from? I'm originally from Bloemfontein here in South Africa. Hell, South Africa. It's, it's, it's nice, you know, it's, it's a lovely country. I'm just glad, hey, I'm South African, you know, being an American and all those other things. I'm, I have nothing against it, but it's just, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm South African, you know, because, yeah, you know, we're unique in our own way. Yeah, every country and everybody's unique in their own way. That's what I believe God intended when he created us. And then, yeah, next question, dogs or cats? um honestly i prefer dogs i prefer both actually yeah i prefer both because like when you're alone when if i if i were to be like living alone i prefer a cat because a cat is more quiet it doesn't make noise it doesn't demand certain things you leave its food there it will chow its food but a dog will require a yard so like mind you i'm a student you'd be a student um living in racing and uh, these type of accommodations you see so like you'd be needing small space not too much just a small you know, space a dog requires to stretch its legs you know running around and stuff and stuff and stuff you see so yeah and yeah i prefer both they're, they're actually adorable my favorite breed of a dog is a german shepherd and a golden retriever Ooh, a golden retriever is so adorable oh, i love those things and then um in terms of cats cats um i don't know what do they call it what do they call it man damn guys i think i forgot it but cats 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 are are smart animals but in terms of um my family and stuff like that people tend to say that like cats are evil animals um let me just search for cat breeds here on you on google here i have a favorite one um youtube man google 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 come on man come on come on okay looks like this thing is wasting my time yes it's called the british short hair yeah it's it's a gray animal with yellow it's a gray cat with yellow eyes it's like black nyana pupils black pupils and yo a sphinx a sphinx is weird guys <laughs> i mean like i wouldn't buy a sphinx because that thing is just it's like a naked cat i mean like why would you buy that thing and then the next question a nickname what's my nickname my nickname is funny that's was given to me by my mom and then um school in terms of school my school nickname was wheezy so here's the backstory so like in high school man there was this one time where it was um valentine's day so valentine's day we all know that in valentine's day you have to like dress up red and stuff and stuff so i put on um skinny jeans and a vest and put on a straight cap i didn't have a chain just put on my watch and just vibe so yeah i went to school just dressed up like that and people were just like nah this guy looks like lil wayne this guy looks like lil wayne and etc 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 then yeah 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 that's that's where my nickname originally comes from wheezy 
W E E Z Y. I see a lot of people pronounce it wrong, or some people when they type to me or when they text me, they type it wrong. It's like it's wrong. Come on, guys, get it right, man. Okay, now I I just told you now, so now you guys can like you know, yeah, man, like yeah, you must you must you must say it right, man. You must say it right. And then, am I seeing someone? Yes, I'm seeing someone. Yes, I have a girlfriend, and it's been six months. Six months. I'm, I'm actually. She's adorable. She's adorable. Maybe I'll feature sometime. I don't know. Depends on her. It's up to her. And then, what language do I speak? I speak English, a bit of Afrikaans, and Kiba Sesotho. Man, I speak Sesotho. And yeah, those are three languages that I speak. I speak a little bit of Afrikaans. Please, please, please. I'm gonna speak broken Afrikaans with you, but for me, Afrikaans. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see. Most of you guys are gonna be wanting to correct me, saying, "Hi, you said it wrong." Blah 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 blah. Leave me alone. Eh, uh, my shoe size. I'm a size seven. If you guys wanna buy me some Air Force, you know, you know, you know the things. Yeah. What was my favorite show as a kid? It has to be Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yo, that thing was fun. Like it's a pink dog with two, um, with two, um, it had parents. It, it, it had it had owners. Yeah, it, it was owners. Um, the guy, I think the guy was Eustace or was it the lady? Let me just check here on Google. Um, yo, it was my favorite show because. As I was growing up, as a kid, we didn't have DSTV. But then, when I got to grade one, um, when I got to grade one, my mom just decided, "Why is he king, my boy? Um, I'm seeing your friends here. They're watching Ben Ten. You're always talking about Ben Ten. Let me just let's just go buy you. Uh, let's go buy a DSTV." And that's how I got to know all these things. So I see here, yeah, his parents, his owners. The guy was Eustace Beige, Eustace, Eustace Beige, and Muriel Beige. I love Muriel. Muriel is so sweet, guys. I'm sorry about my pronunciation. It's... So yeah, man, courage, courage. The cowardly dog, like yo, that that dog is is it's 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 cute, man. It's an it's an amazing dog. Uh, next question. My favorite food. I don't know, guys. I don't have a favorite food, but recently I tasted sushi, um, deep fried sushi. It's actually nice. Ooh, it's nice. You guys should eat it. Ooh, ooh, that thing is nice, man. Um, and can I say KFC? <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, my favorite song, my favorite song is I listen to private piano, guys, man. So private piano is nice, guys. Like it's it's like a that thing. It's like a. So in terms of private piano, it's a song in Calvin Momo's album, his recent album, Ivy League. The song is literally called Ivy League, but the one song that stole my heart. Is Madamini? Oh, it's nice. It's, it's so nice. Um, I think, yo, oh, it's it's beautiful. Because the first time I heard it, I was like, no, I, I recognize these these lyrics. In Madamini, Madamini, in Anani, Anani, in Anani. You know, it, it, it has a tune, Madamini. In Anani, Anani, in Anani, Anani, in Anani. Na na ni chincha, di da da di, da da di, di da da di, da da di, di da da di. Yeah, you, you get the idea. You, you, you get it. You get it. You get it. Yeah, you get it. So, um, do I want children? Yes, I want a soccer team. I want a soccer team. If my girlfriend is watching, she must know I want a soccer team because I wanna pull up there at school now. Nah. In 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 an Ivy, you guys know the Ivy corner. Yo, that big old that night, like oh. 
that thing is lit man like there you are in your IV Karachi you bumping music gira yuna yeah hey when hey when hey when tour I'm on what I'm on now you see in your IV Karachi is popping off your kids but your kids are expensive guys I was watching these trends the other day the trends about um kind of what is it called I took a risk at 16. I'm like looking at this like, hey, here what are these people taking us at 16? What is this? What what is this? What are you guys doing? Like come on. Get it right, man. Like what are you doing? So, um yes, I want children. I want the soccer team. I'm just kidding, guys. Soccer team. Damn, yo, 10 kids. Imagine 15. I'm um, 15. Soccer team is like what? 11 players. Yeah, I'm my 11 players. What am I studying? So I'm currently doing my higher certificate in network engineering, and honestly, I'm say I must say it's going well because when I compare my grades from high school and right now in varsity, honestly, it's a huge change because in high school, I used to get grades like forty percent. Now all of a sudden I'm studying because I'm focused on one thing there's not there's no maths it's not maths Afrikaans English social sciences technology natural sciences you know because you have to focus on different things and now I can just put all my focus all my attention on one module then finish that module then the next module then finish that module but on exams in referring to high school you would have to like focus on natural sciences study all these things for natural science then the next day you'd have to like be prepared for english paper 2 now it's poems and all these things then paper 3 english would be all these other things let's not get into high school stuff yeah um network engineering network engineering is actually fun guys This course that I'm studying, it's it's actually fun. It's an introduction to IT, and it's it's hardware. It's 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 for hardware. Where am I studying? I'm studying at Edivos. Edivos. It's 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 huge. That campus. Um, here in Bloemfontein. Yeah, yeah, it's here in Bloemfontein. Not gonna tell you where. You'll have to find out for yourself. Because I also had to find out for myself. Like, guys, come on. Eh uh, What's my favorite movie? Guys, I've watched so many movies lately. I honestly don't know which one. Like I don't know. But my favorite set of movies would be the Transformers set. Transformers 1, Transformers um Transformers 1, next yes, Transformers 1. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Transformers Dark Side of the Moon Transformers um yeah fuck I forgot them guys but there's like five and then they say there's a f- six no it's actually four yes it's five There's um the one with the dragons the, the the robotic dragons that can transform the one guy was like I thought it's going to be a, a huge car you know like yeah like like yeah man and then yeah then the fourth one the fourth one was the night something about nights the nights I forgot it but Optimus Prime does something in there you have to go watch it for yourself i don't want to spoil the movie for yourself but just go watch it you'll enjoy it i'm telling you you know just imagine if we had transformers here on earth like especially in umzanzi <laughs> imagine see oh you seeing your your test transform that i am going to kill you i am megatron and i have been sent here to earth to destroy earth you know It'd be, it'd be weird man like i'm wondering what would world leaders do bo mr our president mr president I, I, i'm surprised i wonder what he would do you know in these cases and parliament in general like yo what am i afraid of 
guys I don't know I think it would be spiders snakes but I used to watch snakes on TV there are snakes snakes on a plane it was a nice movie that one um got used to snakes and stuff so like let's move to the questions here on the PC I see your uh, general questions to ask a guy I don't know man let's 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 dive in let's dive in what am I what kind of childhood did I have um as a child I believe I got everything I ever wanted not in a snobbish way but in a sense your parents they give you whatever they can they sacrifice here and there that kind of childhood and it was fun I had like cousins my cousins you know it was it was fun man like going to school you get excited go to school like come back blah blah and you know yeah 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 um what was my most memorable birthday this year this year it has to be this year 2022 15 august that was that was my birthday i remember in the introduction i said i'm not gonna tell you as my birthday but yeah my birthday was on the 15th of august and these guys were like just like my classmates were just like acting weird because i noticed oh no man these guys are acting weird what the hell is going on this guy wants me to go there okay because the other guys they disappeared then i noticed for oh, no man no 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 i i can see something is going on here yeah yeah i see something is going on so i just decided for you know what i let me just play along and yeah so one of my homies labs he was like emona let's go to the student lounge went to the student lounge chilling emona when i was eating my lunch and, and i told the guy i was eating my lunch i was literally eating my lunch come on man you, you bring me to the student lounge for nothing there's nobody in here which is just like a couple of other students that i don't know and yeah man like i don't know why i said that but yeah then we were like Emuna, let's go back up since there's nobody here so when i get upstairs into the classroom getting into the classroom surprise i'm like heck say hey banna because i but at that time i didn't expect it to happen you see like i wanted to cry but uh, i had to be i had to be yeah yeah i had to like toughen up you know but it was nice man it was cute man like oh god like, damn man damn man it was nice um have i ever worn ghost clothing yes i i have when i was a kid um i wore my mom's shoes if i can say my mom if i'm allowed to say that yeah my mom girl girl girls are referred to as still women right moms are still called girls right yeah so yeah it was i was young i was, I think I was five yeah all my mom's shoes modeling around playing with my sister yeah so yes i have worn women's shoes women's clothing um what's the funniest memory of high school yo high school high school was fun in general it was it was quite interesting um after i failed grade eight guys i did fail grade eight it was it was not easy Oh, it's not easy i felt like dying after i failed grade eight but then my next couple of classmates the guys that um that i went into the next into grade eight with um those guys were actually quite fun they were interesting couple of guys i remember there was this one valentine's ball whereby we were chilling outside and you know um, one of my friends, I'm not gonna mention his name. He was like, "Hey, fruity, sky robber fruity, man." That was the phrase. And out of nowhere, we just laughed at his error. Like it was a total, just like error. From there, we've been, we were laughing at errors, stupid things. When a teacher made a mistake, we laughed at it. Or when, oh, 
from grade 8 all the way to grade 12 we were laughing at stupid things and honestly i honestly don't have a highlight but my whole of the whole of my high school was quite fun was interesting i actually enjoyed it and yeah man it was just amazing um my favorite character from childhood still courage the cowardly dog he it gives me the courage you know that dog it's it's an amazing dog um what kind of animal do i love the most it would be a dog a doggy if if that's a kind of an, it is a kind of an animal but um would i rather choose fishing or hiking hiking i love walking my 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 current my my high school classmates can tell you for him now this guy can walk because the one time we wrote a maths paper in high school and it was we finished at half past 10 11 o'clock and i was like i now i'm going home because my sister was writing maths né? and i was like you know what no i'm leaving i'm leaving no i'm leaving eh, eh, i'm leaving so took the keys the house keys and walked with my chummies walked home it was a two hour walk then i had headsets on listening to music you know pumping music pumping music pumping music you know it was it was tiring when i got home mm, 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 mm. Yo. Mm -mm. don't do it guys if if you feel like you want to go and get some fresh air nyana, just take a walk around your your parents yard it's fine it's it's good it's good uh, what the hell man let's go back to those other questions do i believe in god where do i even start i should have started with this this should have been the first question actually this should have been the first question so i do have my own bible here i read my bible every day i post a scripture on my on my whatsapp status about the scripture that i read and the scripture that the, the chapter that i read and yeah so let me tell you about my christian life we're shifting from blah blah those nonsense stuff to my christian life let me tell you guys about my christian life so where do i actually start it started with my mom when my mom first had me uh she she was a church goer crc um while on the note of crc guys crc is in like i um, dream week crc dream week is is within two weeks so if you guys want to go buy tickets go to the website purchase your ticket or go to compute ticket and purchase your ticket it's only 250 guys 250 come on 250 it's not that much it's really not that much you can gain a, you, you you will learn a lot from the pastors that um that are going to be featured during the dream week and yeah so now let me just talk about my christian life so in terms of my christian life start with my mom when i was born and she introduced me to crc uh, i was going to crash at yeshua the, at that time it was called yeshua fast forward to 2013 20 2013 2015 in i started serving in kids church kids church is actually amazing guys like it's beautiful i love kids i love kids you remember when i said um i'd love to have a soccer team <laughs> i want kids man i want like noisy kids i want quiet kids i want all kinds of kids you know because at kids church you meet all kinds of kids and they're adorable man like kids are just amazing so i believe that um the purpose that god has given me is to like go out into the world and teach his children about his word and in generally share god with the children and that's exactly what i'm doing with my life so 
2015-2014 yana de the lady that brought me up in Yeshua she invite she said i want you to come to um i want you to come to kids church so i started serving in kids church and it was i was serving and serving i was gaining here and there here and there understanding how things work and etc and etc etc you should go for yourself if you love kids go and serve in kids church they are recruiting volunteers every now and then you can just go there for training and it's 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 an amazing it's an amazing experience you guys you guys will enjoy it um i'll put the link in the description for the crc dream tickets my favorite song and the main the things that i've been mentioning i'll rewatch the video and then i'll put the link for the stuff that i've been mentioning if a link is required and then back to my christian life um kids church is amazing i've been serving in kids church i was i served for kids church in kids church for at least seven years until now i'm not gonna calculate you guys can calculate if you guys want to really want to calculate then last year i left went to crc tabancho to like assist so in crc tabancho Tawanch is, is is actually a nice place. It's where both my parents come from. It's where they both met. I'm just grateful that my parents actually met because honestly, I wouldn't be here. So I'm just grateful for those things that God is doing in our lives and bringing my parents together. I have a sister and yeah. And God is good, guys. You know, I... I trust in the word of the Lord. I believe in God. I trust that God is going to take me higher places, into higher places. He's going to take me places. I'm not going to stay here scraping here. I'm going to go places. So what I'd advise you to do is come to CRC or maybe watch one of the services online. Give your life to Christ. You don't specifically have to come to CRC. You know, find yourself a church. Go with that church. You know, build your life in the ways of God because you will start to see things. You will see a lot of things. God will show you exactly what He wants you to see. Because what I can tell you is, my friend, viewer, if I may say, that putting your trust in the Lord will take you many places. Honestly, I don't know where I would be. If I didn't put my trust in the Lord, I honestly don't know where I would be. God has carried me since I was a little baby, a little beginning to where I am right now. 21 years old, 21. Mind you, some people don't make it to 21. But let's leave that behind. I don't like negative energy. I only like positive energy. Let me just wonder, guys. Orange juice. It's nice. Um, guys, God is good. I want you. Uh, I, I honestly, it's 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 amazing. Because what I've seen is that God actually has a purpose for each and every single one of us. Before you were even born, there's a verse in the Bible that says, "Before you were even born, God had a plan for your life. God exactly knew what you were gonna do here on earth." And another thing that I want to tell you is that the thoughts that you have for your life are not the thoughts that God has for your life. The plans that you have for your life are not the plans that God has for your life. No, they're not. They're not, they're not the same. What God has in store for you is totally different compared to what you have in to what compared to what you actually want to do and what you have planned for your life. You may want a, a city golf, but God wants you to drive a Bentley. You see, it's a huge difference. So, I don't know what else can I say in terms of believing in God because God has done so much for me. God has done so much for me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Him. I really wouldn't be here. So, guys, that's the 29 minute mark. Um, I'd just like to end it off here. I don't know man if you guys want to know a couple of more things about me please 
hit me up on IG or down there in the comment section. Do the shandies. <laughs>